What's up everybody, my name's Adam and welcome to Jamsville. In this lesson you're going to learn one of the most important things that you need to know on the guitar, the pentatonic scale. By the end of this video you're going to know how to play across the entire guitar neck so you can start playing great solos, so make sure you stick around. Most people usually learn the pentatonic scale in position patterns like this, usually starting with the A minor pentatonic scale. While this is a good way to learn it, the main problem with it is that many players struggle to play solos that aren't stuck in these box patterns. Sort of like this. So I'm going to show you how to learn the scale so that you can play solos that sound more like this. The key to learning the pentatonic scale the right way so that you can play more like this is by learning it on one string at a time. Because it's the A minor pentatonic scale, this should be really easy to do on the fifth string because it's tuned to an open A. There's two things that you're going to need to know in order to properly understand how to play it all over the guitar and how to play it in all keys. The pentatonic scale has five notes in it, that's why it's called pentatonic. The minor pentatonic scale is constructed by taking the notes in the natural minor scale, which has seven notes in it, and removing two of those notes. Natural minor scales are constructed with a root 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, and flat 7. We get the minor pentatonic scale by removing the 2 and the flat 6. So we end up with 1, flat 3, 4, 5, and flat 7. The five notes in this scale are A, C, D, E, and G. You're going to want to keep these numbers in mind as you play through the scale because it's going to help you understand why each note sounds the way that it does. The scale is comprised of two intervals, whole steps and minor thirds. A minor third is a distance of three frets and a whole step is a distance of two frets. So the formula for a minor pentatonic starting from the root is minor third, whole step, whole step, minor third, whole step. Here's the A minor pentatonic scale on the 5th string. A goes up 3 frets to C, which again is a minor 3rd. C goes up a whole step to D, which is 2 frets. D goes up a whole step to E. E goes up a minor 3rd to G. And then G goes up a whole step back to A. 
Let's play through it one more time while thinking of the scale degrees, because this is really important to keep in mind as you go through each string. A is the root, C is the flat three, D is the four, E is the five, and G is the flat seven. And then we're back to the root on A. You got that? Good. Now we're gonna figure out on the other strings. Let's start on the low E string. Since E is the open string, we know that if we go up three frets from E, we're gonna have G. Just like how we went up three frets from E on the fifth string, we got to G. Then up a whole step to A. Since we're on A now, we're at the root of the scale, just like we started with. So A goes up a minor third to C. C goes up a whole step to D. And D goes up a whole step to E. It's the exact same pattern on every string, just starting in a different spot on the pattern. Let's see if we can go a little bit quicker now that you're getting the hang of this. Now we're gonna go up to the fourth string. This string is the D string, so we're gonna start the same pattern, but from D. We know that D goes up a whole step to E. Then E goes up a minor third to G. Then G goes up a whole step to A. A goes up a minor third to C. And then C goes up a whole step to D. Let's do that one one more time, thinking in terms of scale degrees. D is the four. E is the five. G is the flat seven. A is the root. C is the minor third. And back up to D, which is the four. Now we only have two strings left to go, and then you're gonna know the A minor pentatonic scale all over the fretboard. Isn't that cool? Remember that since we already did the low E string, the high E string is gonna be the exact same pattern, since they're both tuned to the same note. And if you're getting value out of this video so far and learning something, make sure you drop a thumbs up down below, and remember to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. All right, let's continue to the third string. The third string is tuned to G, which is the last note in the scale, the flat seven. So we know that G goes up a whole step to A. So A is gonna be on the second fret. And then we just start the pattern from A, same as like on every other string. A goes up a minor third to C. C goes up a whole step to D. D goes up a whole step to E and E goes up a whole step to G. All right, we just have one string left to go, the second string. Now this string is a little bit different than all the other strings, since all the other strings were tuned to a note that's already contained within the A minor pentatonic scale. Since the second string is tuned to B, we can't start with the open string because there's no B note in the A minor pentatonic scale. So on this string, we're gonna be starting on the first fret, which is C. In case you didn't know this yet, all of the letters in the musical alphabet are whole steps apart from each other, except for B to C and E to F. B to C is a half step, so only one fret, and E to F is also a half step, only one fret. But C to D, D to E, F to G, G to A, and A to B, are all whole step intervals with a note in between. So we have C in the first fret. And you know the drill from here. C goes up a whole step to D. D goes up a whole step to E. E up a minor third to G. G up a whole step to A. And A up a whole step to C. This time we're ending on the 13th fret since we started on the first fret, not the open string. So now let's review all the notes in the A minor pentatonic scale starting from the bottom string all the way to the top string.
right, now that you know all the notes in the A minor pentatonic scale, let's practice them together the fun way. The way that we're gonna practice them is by jamming together and improvising. The idea here is to start making some music with these notes right away rather than just running through them over and over. This way you're gonna start thinking of different combinations of the notes and creating variations, which is gonna make you learn it a lot better and be able to incorporate it into your actual playing way faster. I'll play for two measures while you listen to what I'm playing and then you play for two measures. Even though we're working on notes here, make sure you never compromise the rhythm. The rhythm always comes first because it doesn't matter how many right notes you play, if you play with bad rhythm, it's gonna sound bad. Play simply at first until you get more comfortable doing more complicated things. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to keep my ideas simpler and let them get a little bit more complicated as we go along. practicing this by rewinding the video back to the beginning of this section and picking a different string or different combinations of strings. And remember when you're playing, don't just think of the shapes, but think of the other information that goes along with the shapes, like the names of the notes and the numbers of those notes. All that we've covered so far is the A minor pentatonic scale, but what if you want to play in a different key? First, let's talk about major keys. For every minor pentatonic scale, there's a relative major pentatonic. I don't wanna get into the theory behind it too much, but guess what, we don't really need to, cause you already know the major pentatonic scale. If you take the minor pentatonic scale and start it from the second note, that's a major pentatonic scale. So with our A minor pentatonic, if you start it from C, that's a C major pentatonic. <laughs> As you can see, we already did that in the second string by learning the A minor pentatonic scale. Pretty neat, huh? Now to play this in other keys that aren't just C major or A minor, it would work the same way as any other pattern on guitar. If you know where the root note in the scale is, you just take the same pattern that you already know and start it from that root note. For example, let's take B minor pentatonic. You take the exact same pattern that started on A, but now we're gonna start it on B instead. This one will be pretty easy since the second string is tuned open to B. So the B minor pentatonic pattern starting on the second string will be exactly the same as the A minor pentatonic scale that started on the fifth string. So we start on B in the open string, go up a minor third to D, then go up a whole step to E, then go up a whole step to F sharp, then go up a minor third to A, and then go up a whole step to B. So the B minor pentatonic scale consists of B, D, E, F sharp, and A. Since D is the second note in the scale, we also know that this is D major pentatonic. 
You may be wondering why is there an F sharp in there? It goes back to what I said before. E to F would be a half step. So if you go up a whole step from E, you're gonna get F sharp, not F. Same thing as if you went up a whole step from B, you would go to C sharp. That's why up a minor third from B gave us D. Once you find the notes on one string, then you can figure them out for all the other strings in the exact same way we did for A minor pentatonic. So if we start in a low E string, we have E, which is the four in B minor pentatonic. Then up a whole step to F sharp. Then up a minor third to A. Then up a whole step to B. Then once we're on B, we go up a minor third to D. And then up a whole step to E. With the open A string, we know that that's the flat seven. So we go up a whole step to B. Then up a minor third to the flat three, D. Then up a whole step to the four. Then up a whole step to the five, F sharp. And then up a minor third to A. On a D string, we start in D. Go up a whole step to E. Another whole step to F sharp. Minor third to A. Whole step to B. And a minor third to D. With the third string, there is no G in the B minor pentatonic scale. So the next note that we have available to us is A. So A goes up a whole step to B. B goes up a minor third to D. D goes up a whole step to E. E goes up a whole step to F sharp. And then F sharp goes up a minor third to A. And once you've figured out a key, you can figure out all the keys that are right next to that one by just moving the whole pattern either up or down a fret. So if you know A minor pentatonic already, then you move all the notes up a fret to get B flat minor pentatonic. And move them all down a fret to get A flat minor pentatonic. Do you feel like you have a better understanding of the pentatonic scale now than you did before and have some more freedom to move around the fretboard? Remember to subscribe to the channel for more free videos on music theory, guitar, shredding, jamming, all kinds of stuff. And until next time, listen, learn, and jam.